Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. Returning as Security Officer Batia. Um, the corruption Scanning. level just went up, Type so detected. some new enemies popped up, and I was just watching my, uh, what is it called, a security? Yeah, security drone. Just went out there to try to fight the Technopath, or the Phantoms, or whatever. And I think it's now on the ground, kind of shooting electricity. Yeah, it died. Anyway, I'm going to have to deal with that when I go out because my goal now is to find Claire Witten and I've located them using the security computer and I know that they are in Moonworks. So I need to head to the tram station and then head to Moonworks. So, Technopath 3, huh? Hmm. I suppose a combat focus and a shotgun would be pretty good. Or maybe just a laser beam. Actually, let's use some EMPs. Detected. Typhon material detected. Gate reactivation in three, two, one. Operator deployment resuming. Ah, okay. Surprised he was able to get a shot off to begin with. I thought I got the EMP onto it before it started attacking me, and I thought that prevented it from shooting me. Certainly seemed to prevent it from shooting me for most of the time. Oh right, I do huge amounts of damage, don't I? Didn't I spend the Neuromods to get, uh... Yeah, the highest level of firearms, 150% damage increase. So now the shotgun does a lot of damage. Slight problem. The tram station terminal wasn't working, so we need to go outside to the crater to get to the moonworks. Oh boy. Oh, there's a lot of stuff out here. Can I finally scan a weaver? Gate reactivation in 3, 2... One Typhon material detected. Moon sharks still here, right? Oh yeah, just popped up. Okay. One suit integrity damaged. Phantom Genesis. Phantom Genesis two available. Yes, although that only matters for this run. We'll see if I end up playing. Um, Riley you again in this run. I probably won't, but we'll see. Hi. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, um, I know from experience that the, oh, the tentacle things kill it very easily, but I don't have any tentacle things. I just assumed I did, because I seem to always have them. Let's get my suit repaired. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Oh, Jesus! Christ. It's really interesting trying to navigate around this place. When you know there's a moon shark as well as all sorts of other things. Sometimes you just barely have enough propulsion fuel juice stuff to get where you want to go. And sometimes you just can't. Ah, shit, that one's corrupted. I see a red light on it. Uh-oh. Well, EMP would be good. Impurities detected. So oh, wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you smashed that already dead corrupted harvester. How many lures do I have? I got three. You know, let's use one. Whoa, this looks different. From last time I saw it. Wow. Spooky. It's so atmospheric when you have the light off. Just look at that. Look at the green glow on the floor being reflected. Warning. Power failure detected. Auxiliary oh, power, power state. Enabled. Tutorial. So this is the first time I got to deal with power, huh? As the moon-based simulation grows more dangerous, some areas will experience powder power outages. While potentially advantageous in some cases, like with electrical hazards, other cases may require improvisational thinking, like unpowered doors. The power control room under the command tower in the crater can reroute power around the moon base. Under the command tower. Oh, that's a thing in the center. Okay, so I might have to go back out there. We'll see. Not going to assume that I do. Yeah, okay, so... I'm probably going to show a lot of this going in here because there's a lot of enemies, because of the corruption level, and also just the atmosphere of the place looks and feels very different. Now with like the power being off and I guess we're on emergency lighting and that's why everything's all creepy and red. Oh, corrosive gas over there. Okay. What's the best thing to deal with a tentacle nest? I still don't really know. I mean, if I had psi powers, it would be a psi power. One that does damage anyway. But without that... Actually, what about this? That was apparently a critical. Oh, if you don't have the power to do it, look at what happens. It just like falls to the ground. Oh. Whoa. Why did that one shoot? Oh. My Psy regenerates. Cool. Is that one of the chips that I have? Modules? Yeah, so I could get it with three of those. I mean, I don't really use Psy much, so... I, eh. I guess that's kind of okay. I want to save some of my Psy powers, though, for, for combat power. Right, no power. This stuff's not going to work. The more I look around and see how much things just don't work, the more I think I am going to have to go turn on the power. So does this mean, like, literally no doors will work at all? Shit. Yeah. Oh, force open leverage three. You can force open unpowered doors. Uh, I don't have that, but I think I have leverage two, don't I? I do have leverage two. Six more neural mods and I can get leverage three. I've only got one. That's not going to happen anytime soon. But that would be super convenient. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back out to the center. Try to get the power up. Here we go. Power control. So, yeah, it's just missing those things. So I can take it from either Crew Annex or Pythias Labs. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really have it particular reason to choose one over the other. Crew Annex? Oh, hello, Moonshark. That's not a good idea.
Please let me in the gate before it gets closed. Type the oh, wow. Him. <laughs> I just made it in. Okay, now I know. It would take like five full charges of the, laser, of the laser gun to be able to kill that thing. Not the way to go. Moonworks is all nice and lit up. I gathered a bunch of supplies from here. Recycled a bunch of stuff, even actually made a delay time. And also found one in a locker room up there. So I've gained a bit more time. Sorry. So let's head into the creepier, more dangerous places in the Moonworks. Claire Witten's somewhere over here. So the Moonworks... Yeah, this is the place that I haven't explored super well, right? Because it's like a confusing labyrinth. No, I did not mean to spawn my lovely operator companion. Thank you, though. <laughs> Mass driver loading zone. Attention, everyone. Gate reactivation. Tampering with Transdar property Mimic is strictly two. against Phantom. company One. policy. This includes seemingly innocuous acts such as drawing on harvesters or renaming security turrets. Thank you. Harvesters look so cool when they're sucking in material. Warning, defensive counter. Halt. Corporate policy violation detected. What did I just witness? It... Is it deliberately attacking it? Oh my god, thank you so much, friend. They're gone. Suck them up. Harvesting. Oh god, no. Claire's dead. That must have happened on my way over here. On my way over here because their life sign showed as alive when I scanned them on the computer, right? Those things resisted the shotgun really well. Ah, shit, this thing's broken. Oh, and it was so good. It was so good. It nullified a target's psionic abilities. And I can't repair it. I need to find a backup shotgun. Without a shotgun, I can't really do much. I've just got the laser and my melee weapon. Tracking bracelet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's just their tracking bracelet. Yeah, this is Casey Fletcher. This isn't Claire Witten. So Claire Witten might not be dead. They just took off their tracking bracelet. I don't know if I ever explored this area before in my other playthroughs. It looks pretty unfamiliar to me. Cosmo Link terminated. I guess they're trying to maybe cover up the stuff they had done in 
ditch the dragging bracelet and run away. Ooh, is that a grenade? Glue charge. I should use my glue gun more. T star two 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 three five update. I'm worried it's a virus or something. Do I really want this file? I guess. I mean, I mean, yeah. How's it, Officer Bartia? Are you too late? I'm afraid, my friend. By the time you hear this, I should be sitting nice and comfy on an escape pod headed home. I knew Riley would send you. Anybody else, and they'd be dead already. Or you want to stay not dead? Then listen up, my chummy. That little puff of air you just heard? Neurotoxin. Kill you, chop chop. But I'm giving you the location of the antidote. I realize you have the means to scuttle my pod. So now you get to decide. <coughs> Self-preservation or duty to your employer? What's it gonna be, VJ? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Holy shit. Clever. We still got emails to read, though. Alright, fine. Orders. Relay from station M13 in case shipment of capacitor cells departing tail. Tell us tomorrow, also containing a high value. Fabrication plan, please recover. Right, these are, yeah, Cosmo orders. Right. Warning. Someone is talking. Now Elazar is sniffing around my operation up here. They found a link to Pythias. Heat is coming your way. Prepare. Okay. We got about six minutes. I am definitely not going to try to save my employer. Who gives a shit about that? Give me the antidote. So where is it? Crater. It's in the crater? Oh, there might be time to do both. Find and use the antidote. Six minutes, and then eleven minutes to use the remote detonation controls to scuttle Claire's escape pod. Crew Annex. The crew Annex is the one I turned off the power in, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna need to go to the center control thing. But anyway, we'll worry about that once I have the antidote. Crater. Right. Crater. Let's go! That's... that's the not where I came from. Assignment requested. Waiting. Okay, I apparently have to deal with this phantom up here to be able to get through there because the gate won't let me through. So, come here. Ow. No time to waste. Can't be pretty about it. Can't do it elegantly. About to head in the crater. Before I do, just want to mention that I summoned my little companion storage bot and looked in it. Turns out I actually had a green level shotgun. So I transfer that, so now I actually have a working shotgun. Not as good as the last one, but it's something. Type material Antidote. Detected. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't, fuck, I don't have any lures, do I? I don't. Oh, that's bad. I don't have time to, like, carefully move across the ground. If I just run for it, is that a really, really bad idea? Big reactivation in three, two, one. Okay, here it comes. Wait, where am I going? Where, where am I going? Where is that? I, I need to look on the map, actually. Oh, that's like, that's like back at the beginning. Oh, I need to go this way. I think I'm outrunning it. Okay, we're fine. Oh. Oh. What's, oh, Jesus, that's a nightmare, literally. Gate reactivation oh, no. in three. Just another moon shark. One, type of material detected. 
Are any of these mimics? Nope. They can't, they can't get up here, right? An antidote. I got that pretty fast. That does not look safe. Okay, yeah, we got eight minutes to do that. Okay, that's pretty reasonable, actually, I think. I don't know, it depends how deep we need to go to actually get to the controls. I know the first thing we need to do is almost certainly to turn on the power in the crew annex. Boy, should turn off the Pythi Slab's power now instead of the crew annex to be able to get into the Moonworks. In the crew annex, yes. Okay. Alright, back the other way. Please don't re-enable the gate. Please don't re-enable the gate. Ah, oh, Typhon material detected. Oh hi, you're just you're just waiting for me. <laughs> Come on. Thankfully, there's a lot of. Really? Thankfully, there's a lot of rocks here. Hold on, I just want to like blow you up. Can I just blow you up? This is a good idea. Yeah, okay, no, no. Yeah, that's a real bad idea. I'm not doing much to it, and I just used a lot of my shotgun ammo, and it seems to resist that. I think I need the tentacle spore things. Right. Thankfully, I've got so many med kits. Also, I'm bleeding, but don't worry. I've got things for that. I'm just gonna wait here a bit. Okay, I'm thinking the moon shark might be just bugged because it's not moving. Yes, yes, you're very angry. Wow, this is real- oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> this is real bad. Yeah, it's completely bugged. Even though it's just detected me from over there, it's trying to get to me. It can't. It can't move. It's just stuck there. Well, now that I'm actually away from that area, that's very advantageous. Okay, well now it's sort of moved out and now it's sort of just like stuck right there. So actually this is now super bad again. Uh, fuck. Nope. Nope. Can I just, you know, maybe I can get out this way. Can I just go up the support beam? So angry. Such an angry boy. Yes. Yes, that works great. Okay. We don't have that much time left. Also, be able to get through the gate. I'm gonna have to kill this thing. Yes, it had a delay loop time on it. Nice. Why is this still not open? There's something else? Oh god, what is that? What the fuck is that? 
Oh, it's just the moon shard. We're fine. Just, just chill. Scanning. Area not secure. Oh, I just realized. Oh my god, the tentacles just killed it. Even if you don't actually cast, uh, cast like I'm a wizard. Even if you don't use the tentacles yourself, they still will attack that thing. Cool. Oh god, do I have to kill the tentacles too? Is that what I'm missing? Wait. There's like a red thing over there, but it's not showing a name. I think I do need to kill this. No typhoon detected. Yes. I guess it's detecting each individual tentacle as a separate entity. Anyway, we got like two minutes. Let's get to it, huh? Here we go. Everything's on fire. Hazards detected. Somewhere far up. Ah, shit. Okay, uh... Shuttle, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think they'll follow me? I don't know if they even 100% saw me. Oh, shit! Hello! Fuck! Uh... Upstairs. No! Oh, well. I'm just gonna run from it. VJ, don't. You don't owe Riley a thing. Sticking around like a good little boy to mop up the mess she made? You should be on a pod. Like me. Like she is. What? <coughs> You cross at me for clapping your men. Well, maybe I'm not the only one on this pod, eh? You think about that, my friend? You push that button and you got innocent blood on your conscience. I know, you're totally correct. The question is though, uh, I'm not completing the story quest if I don't do that, right? Right? Uh, use the remote to uh, use the remote detonation controls to disable the explosives on the pod. Oh, I do have a choice. Okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna disable it then. Activate the detonation or disable. Disable. Well, I'm waiting. I'm just gonna like seal this up so nothing else can come through. <laughs> <laughs> I can now play hey, as Claire Witten. You made the right choice, VJ. Well, you managed to get off the moon alive? I'll look you up. I'll make you another offer you can't refuse. Kazma's always on the prowl for solid men. And the pay is shit, but the work is loads more fun. Best of luck to you. Ah, sorry about your men. Yeah, I mean, like, should VJ really feel any desire to protect Transtar? Transtar is an incredibly horrendous company. I don't know if Cosma is any better. I don't know what their skin in this game is. I don't know if they do it for fun, if they're doing it, like, are they a rival corporation trying to just mess with their competition? I don't know. I don't know if their intentions are pure, but either way, hurting Transtar, not really a bad thing. Why protect him? Fuck him. Okay, um, I kind of thought that it would just end right there, but it didn't, so does that mean I just need to escape then? Yeah, so that's the story objective complete for VJ, and now we can finally play as Claire Witten for the first time. I'm guessing that she's probably the one with the hacking ability. That's going to open up a lot of doors, literally. <laughs> I've got a bounty to kill a weaver with a wrench. Um, I suppose the easiest thing to do would be to get to the shuttle, right? I think that was just downstairs. I might die getting there. 
Wow, I've only got two shots in the shotgun. I have like no ammo for anything. Do I have a pistol? No. I have a bolt caster and a stun gun. Uh, all right. We're ready. I guess we're using the bolt caster. Here we go. Let me see if I can get to the shuttle. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize it was so close. Uh, I guess that's it. As long as, like, the power isn't off or something. Yeah, cool. We have a new priority message from Basilisk. Peter, are you there? Look, I need to talk to you. Everything passing between the module and Gasma is logged, so I know the channel was open. And I know what you heard. Right now, I'm the only one who knows. <sighs> I need to say I'm sorry. You're not the only one who signed a penalty contract with Gasma, and many of us are obligated to the company now in difficult ways. I can't paint this a different color for you, but if you help me, if you finish what the company is asking you to do, I will personally provide you with an out. If you don't trust me, I don't blame you. But if you don't trust me now, both of us will be in the same shit. I leave it to you to decide. I have to go now. Please consider what I've said, Peter. For you, and me, and your family. Goodbye. Well, that's a good development in Peter's work. Hope we can trust them. I don't know, they seem... I guess relatively trustworthy? It's really hard to say, we barely know them. But, I mean, we don't really have a choice but to trust them, do we? And that does answer a little bit of a question about Cosma, as far as, like, how good they are. They definitely don't have good intentions if they, like, I'm assuming other companies as well, have these penalty contracts that essentially put you into indentured servitude. They're definitely not good. We have two new emails. Orders. Let's stay on task. Remember the contract and the schedule. The module is going to be fine. Just follow the orders we sent you and we'll get you out of there. You can check your orders anytime you're in the sim from your transcribe. Remember that as you complete orders in the simulation, the simulation itself becomes more complete. Therefore, it will also become more hostile. You'll notice new hazards, but you might also find previously hidden elements that can help you. I mean that things in the simulation are... Uh, I mean that things in the simulation are records, so they are real. That might assist you in ways you hadn't, haven't thought about until now. Think about this very carefully. Wait, what do you... What do you mean? I mean that the things in this simulation are records, so they are real. So, as we do more things, the simulation becomes more complete. That also makes it more dangerous, but also means that it's more complete in other ways, I guess. New elements. Whatever that means. I don't know. New rooms? New rooms that are accessible? New things? But, uh, I assume what they mean about, think about this very carefully, is that if you see something new, other than just like an enemy or something, but if you see some sort of story-related information that's new, it's real. It's just the simulation becoming more complete. That's why it wasn't there until now. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to enter as... Hmm, maybe as Claire Witten. Possibly, but also, before I reset the simulation, or reach the end of the simulation, I probably should play as Riley Yu, because I've scanned a Weaver and I can now get the Phantom Genesis ability. So it might be a good thing to play as Riley. And I could try to complete their story objective at the same time, of course. Well, actually... That was, for the story objective, the Phantom Genesis ability. That's to upload our consciousness. Yeah, so, we'll see. I'll probably play as Riley U. 
but looking forward to playing Claire Witten soon as well. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.